Tonight, doctors are hopeful that a treatment for coronavirus may already exist in the blood of patients who were once infected. Blood plasma from those who have recovered can be a rich source of antibodies. And those are the proteins that help the immune system attack the virus. It's actually a century-old treatment that could save lives. Here's our Dr. John LaPook. Julie Thaler has recovered from COVID-19 and her blood may be a lifesaver for others. I kind of walk around feeling like Superwoman a little bit. I'm hoping that I can help people. She feels like a superhero because her blood likely contains antibodies, infection-fighting proteins made by her immune system. Dr. Nicole Bouvier and her colleagues at Mount Sinai in New York have developed a test to detect those antibodies to coronavirus in the blood of recovering patients. In general, people are probably going to have highest antibody levels at like three to four weeks after they first got sick. The FDA has given them permission to take these antibodies, which the immune system makes in order to attack the virus, and transfuse them into somebody hospitalized with COVID-19. Why do you think this might work? We have some idea, partially from the 1918 influenza pandemic, taking blood from one person and giving it to another actually may improve outcomes. The antibody test is important for another reason identifying people who likely have immunity to the coronavirus infection and therefore could consider returning to work. It would be nice to know which anesthesiologists already have antibodies so we could prioritize them to do the breathing tubes in COVID patients. Antibody testing would also help answer an important question. How many people have been infected without knowing it? Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.